All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome to the vlog. As you guys saw in yesterday's video, I went down to Jimmy's shop and we hung out for the day. We put the side skirts that I ordered for the car on and they look absolutely phenomenal. I love the style of these skirts. One of the big things about these cars is even the factory side skirts have this very aggressive bow to them from either side and the middle is very tucked up. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of that at all. And these are like the only side skirts that I know of that have a very flat profile to them, which was what I was looking for in the first place. And I'm stoked and they look awesome. They fit great. And I can't wait for them to be matched with the car and the car to be all one color on some nice wheels and all that good stuff. But for today, I think I'm going to take the coupe out because it has been sitting here ever since I got this car pretty much being neglected, unfortunately. And I know you guys want to see coupe content very badly. And uh, to be honest, I kind of am the same way. I want to kind of get into this car a little bit more. And I think today it's just, it's just got to get driven. You can see it's just been sitting covered in crap from the tree, totally neglected. And uh, today we're gonna fix that. So I'm going to be going to the shop to hang with my friends tonight. I'm going to get this girl looking good again, driving good again. I have the strut bar that I bought from MPC in the basement. I'm gonna bring that with me. We can throw that back in. Hang out with my friends for the night, have a good time and uh, see what happens because, ah, man. I just totally forgot what this car, like, I just totally forgot how much I love this car and the color and the wheels and everything is just put together very nicely. I love it a lot. So that's what today's gonna be about. Today's gonna be about the coupe. Ooh, forgot how nice this is. Oh, you poor girl. Get, get out, get out, blow it. Restore, restore the car. It's been sitting for a month, so I'm eager to know if it'll uh, crank up. Oh yeah, we got this. So before we head to the shop, I gotta run a couple errands. I wanna wash this thing, I wanna get it looking good again. None of my friends are at the shop yet, so hopefully they are there by the time that I get there. And uh, they're gonna be working on some stuff tonight too, so I can go over what they're doing. Nate's gonna be starting to uh, work on his engine for his Audi 5000, which should be really cool. And uh, I got a couple little things I wanna do to this thing now that it's been sitting for this long and it just, it's deserving of it, so. And I'll, I'll go over some stuff that I, I wanna do to this thing, like 100%. Um, further down the line, so let's go. First stop, vape shop. I have been stuck on this stuff for months. It is so good. They have like six or seven different types and they're all in menthol variants too. I got the normal one this time, but. I have been stuck on this flavor. It's just so good. There's no complaints about this flavor at all if you guys if any of you guys vape and you guys are looking for flavors if you haven't already tried this stuff not sponsored by the way i'm i'm just saying try this stuff it's it's good but uh yeah so next stop car wash let's get this girl looking clean What's really cool is that the glass parency uh, film that's on the windshield is still working awesome. I'll show you guys that uh, in a sec. They're, it's almost done. Let's see how it did. Oh yeah. Much better. She's looking awesome.
All right, so now that this thing is fully washed and looks dope and smells dope and everything, <clears throat> let's go to the shop, see if anyone's there. I see a wild Nate. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Hi, people, what's going on? Uh, jamming out. You damn straight, Sonny. Listen to oldies. You got anything you're doing tonight? I'm helping Casey work on his motorcycle, and by that I'm watching him while drinking beer. Um, I need a manager. <laughs> I need a manager. Uh, my motorcycle's up in the other shop over there, which I received. Yeah, you just got a motorcycle. Yeah, Yamaha That's dope. Uh, XS750 three-cylinder, um, which I literally received from a complete stranger, and now I own a motorcycle. Now I'm going to build a cafe racer out of it. A little Nate side quest. All right, so I'm gonna pull the coop in here real quick, and we can uh, we can get started on doing some stuff to it. So as you guys remember from a while ago, when I took the Dell Soul to Honda Fest earlier this year, uh, I bought the MPC Motorsport Strut Bar uh, for the coop, and it looked absolutely fire, and I loved the thing so much, and. When I put the BC coilovers in this thing, I had to take it off, and I regretfully never put it back in. It's just been in the basement, so I'm gonna throw that in right now, and then after that, we got some other stuff that we're gonna do, um, and yeah. I'm glad that I decided to do this today. It's really good to see this car out and about instead of in my driveway collecting dust all the time. I forgot how much this strut bar looked good in this engine bay. It uh, definitely adds that extra touch. What this car really needs right now is a manual swap. It's what it needs. And the last time that I left off on the whole manual swap thing was the transmission that came out of that red sedan was junk. And it's unfortunate, but that's the way that it is. I'm gonna keep all the parts that came off of the transmission, like the linkage and all the important stuff. Um, that way I don't have to buy it again, but I do need to get a transmission. And I also need the time for this car to be down, you know, while we do that. So I just haven't had the time to not have a daily driver. And frankly, I haven't had the extra money to go out, get a transmission, get all the stuff that I need for this at the same time while building the Soarer and getting the wheels for it and the bags and the aero and all that stuff. It's just been a lot of money and a lot of time. So I do want to do work to this car. I would love to manual swap this car, get it to be a fun car to just zip around in, have it be manual and, and have a fun time. And then maybe we can decide to do something bigger with the engine, whether we turbo this engine or we get a bigger engine. Um, not entirely sure. It'll probably all come down to money at that point, but I am putting in an order for more of these stickers. I haven't released stickers in a while and I really missed having these. Going to a show and stuff and having stickers to give to people that come up and ask about them is always awesome. And frankly, lately I haven't had any stickers at all. I've only been selling the shirts, which by the way, <coughs> by the way, the shirts are fire. The link is in the description if you guys want to help me out. Any extra is super helpful to me and lets me get these cars and builds going faster. So if you want to show your support, link is in the description as well as Below the description, you'll see the Teespring link to go to the site and see the shirts, pick them one up. They're absolutely fire. So with all that being said, I think I'm going to pull the center console out of this thing because as you remember, I got this out of the sedan and apparently those are really hard to find, those center consoles. And uh, I painted it black, but it was a gloss black, so it doesn't match the inside of this car at all. 
And uh, since I have the Sem Landau Black paint, I'm going to uh, go over this again and hopefully it matches the car a little better because I can see the interior of the, of the coupe and it's definitely not that type of black, but it is black. So uh, I'm going to pull this thing out and we can uh, start diving into it. I know that you guys are probably really sick and tired of painting videos right now, so I'm going to make this really quick. So if you guys can remember when I first started painting this, when I first got it, um, it was gray and then I painted it black and it was super glossy. And now you can see it matches beautifully. I'm super stoked on that. Steve just showed up with his E36 and John showed up with his S4 which is fire. And uh, what is this making, like 270? 270, 270 and 320 foot-pounds of torque. That's sick. I it's enough. That. This is Cam. Hi, Steve. This is my shop partner. Oh, that was H2O. It's all right. It's pretty good. Yeah. I wish I could say what I want to say, but I can't. <laughs> so you look in the interior, you can see the door card is that shade of black. My McDonald's is here, and if you come over here, the center console is the same color black, which is absolutely awesome. Drop a fat like on this video for us working on the coupe for like the first time in like, feels like two months. It's crazy. Even though I'm not like doing a lot of work to the coupe, it just feels good to have the car out and like clean and doing stuff to it. it it just feels good. I definitely want to do more to this car. I'm not done with it. Don't don't think that. Um, but in due time, I have to get you know the money and the time for that stuff. I'm gonna restore it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna restore it. Don't worry about this car. It is um, it is far, far gone. Bye, Steve. Bye. So I finished the center console and put it into the car, and it looks ten times better because it actually matches. Uh, let me let me get in here. All right, can't see shit. All right, still can't see shit. Well. Regardless, it matches much, much better with the rest of the interior, and uh, I'm stoked. So, that's really all I wanted to do tonight. I know there really wasn't much that I did, but like I said, regardless, it feels really, really good to have this car out and about again. I actually need to get it inspected because I've driven the SOAR so much that I totally forgot to get this thing inspected. So, it's past inspection, but it should pass, no problem. But I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe for more, all that good stuff. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going to Staggered, which is down in Springfield. And I'm going to be filming that event. And catch me out there if you do. Say what's up. And the video on that will be out soon. And then after that, I can get started on the H2O video which is going to be a lot of work it's going to be a big video but i'm very stoked on it the footage is insane so look out for that i'll see you guys in the next one